Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of She's Got Legs where we're heading out to the Mitchell River in Far North. Oh, okay. ah! I forgot to film me putting it off the tent, so my theory is I'll do it. I'll film me taking it down and then I'll just reverse the footage and it'll look like I'm arriving. Welcome everyone to a special episode of She's Got Legs where we're heading out to the Mitchell River in far north Queensland. Now this episode could not have been produced without the support of the She's Got Legs patrons. So thank you guys all so incredibly much. You can find out more at patreon.com forward slash got legs macro where you can join the SGL crew for like $3 a month or even pledge more for cool rewards and credits in these videos. I'll put a link in the description. If you enjoy this video, please consider signing up or give us a like and a share to spread the word about how cool bugs and slimy things are. I will mention that this video does make reference to some collecting of wild bugs and the reason that's been done is to bring them back to sustainable breeding programs but also because some of the species in this video are actually unknown to science so they're new which is really cool. But for now let's get exploring. I was gonna like get up and walk out of frame like really suave but I'm attached to my microphone so you'll have to pretend that I did. Welcome, here we are at my idyllic alcove here at the Mitchell River. Um, so I've been camping for a couple of days. I really should have done this on the first day because now I am dirty and disgusting and sunburned, but I thought I would take you guys on a bit of a tiny wildlife safari. Now it is brutally hot here during the day, so we'll do a little bit this morning. Um, we might see if we can find some peacock spiders. Um, see what is out in this heat. It's gonna be mostly grasshoppers, spoilers. Uh, and then once it gets dark, I will take you out on one of my nighttime safaris. So we will see uh, what kind of bugs we can find. Um, I will try to film them. It is very difficult in the dark. Uh, what we don't get to film, I will take photos of and I'll show you when we get back, huh? Like this whole mix is just a disaster. Maybe we all just have courage. I don't know what have done to this poor creature. What have done to him? Oh no! It is the world's most beautiful pancake. Like I have oh. never seen such beauty in my life. Oh, uh, it's. I thought you said Rosemans. It is utterly. Like, guys, can you just witness this? I can't <laughs> quit, and yet. It's the world's most perfect vegan pancake. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. The right, documentary's over now. I'm going to see what um jumping spiders we can find. Spider wasp. If you're into spiders, I'm about to ruin your day. This torture insect, also called a spider wasp, is excavating a live burial chamber. These wasps catch and paralyze spiders using their sting, sometimes chopping off their legs and burying them underground. The wasp lays a single egg on the paralyzed body and when it hatches, the horror child feeds off the live spider in just the right way to keep its food source alive as long as possible. Horrifying. Not a gimbal. Goes quickly from this um, wet area around the river to this nonsense. It's very dry. Okay, don't look now, but we've got a visitor. Don't look now. Slow movement. Hey. You got him? Who did you get? Yep, my artist, look at that. Oh, wow. That's a new species for sure. You're under me. It's an empty container, guys.
So did we confirm you had a male? No, male. we didn't confirm, no. I think you said he was waving, wasn't he? No, the first um, Maratus I saw was waving. Maratus. 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 See, I'm not sure if the one I grabbed is adult. Oh, he must be. He's got his legs. Got his legs. Oh, they don't get their legs until he's they're He's got old. legs, so. I thought I found a female before because of the red legs, but I think the front legs have to be Well, red. there was definitely a gravid female over there yesterday, which was much larger. Well, she's and probably had her babies and they've gone off to college by now. Maratus. No, I'm not kidding. I can't get under here. It's not looking at you. Yep, got it. It wasn't focused. It wasn't focused. Ah, oh, damn. So that was Reggie Didge. A real Maratus. Come show us. <laughs> Come through. Come through under the tree. Damn. Well, we can oh. see a speck. Oh, that's him. That's a male. There yeah, he goes hello. Up the wall. Hello. There you go. So, so we it's think a it's Chris and Mellis. Maratus biscuit eye. There's a little Maratus. He's come to eat some cookies. You'd think it was a fly, wouldn't you? If you weren't paying attention, or an ant. If you come for some cookie. The thing I hate most about working with bugs is probably how you just never get out of the office. You were hoping I'd fall. I was. Are they looking for spiders or are they looking for me? Probably should have shared this before I came out, huh? Now we're just going to look for a place to dock. It's the only place where it could really go wrong is at this point. When I trip over the fall in and then the kayak floats away. Oh, it's very muddy here. Hi, we've made it to the other side of the river. This side looks a little bit different, so we'll take a look around and see what's here. This is funny because I normally do all of my work at night and I don't normally sit here watching the leaf litter, but uh, why not while I'm here? This is why, just very boring, very fast. Oh, it just crapped on camera. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was the least dignified thing I've ever seen. Oh, he's just stalking at least like, yeah. Yeah, you betcha. Not even a little doggy bag, he's just left it there. This is the riverboat tour. So the sun is setting, which means all those animals that have been sheltering during the heat of the day are gonna start coming out of their hides once it gets dark. So we're gonna wait for a little bit, head back out here after dark and see what we can find. Now sponsored by DEET. Look at that. Don't touch the camera after you touch that. It eats away plastic. It's weird. So our first aid kit. There are snakes. Probably not going to die, but just in case. My spare batteries. Microphone cable. Containers. We're going to need more of these. Extra head torch. Extra lens. The camera. That's important. Okay, we're almost there. The 
such an interesting area because right next to the river here, it's really wet and the habitat is so different. Like you can go like, I don't know, like 20 meters that way, a um, little bit more and it's completely dry scrub. Like you'll see it when we go out there. Oh my god. You're humongous! Hello, my container bringer. We went looking for crocs and instead we found spewed. Alright, can I tag? You're gonna, you're gonna film. Yes. None of it's hacked out. Does that mean there might be a little more? I think it might be what we've already got, but she's so big. That is Neosporasis salacious, the northern badge huntsman. Wow. Am I pregnant? <laughs> How do I get bigger on to? I wonder if it'll be friends with me. I thought I spent a bit of time down here at the river actually looking at stuff in the water. I know it's crazy. Um, so there's some pretty cool stuff here. There's some fish, there's like turtles, there's... Um, point is, there's stuff in the water. I'm really, really tired. And I've just found a water scorpion. What ho? A mysterious creature? I don't know how to convey to you the size of this creature. It's a chura, chura chonga, chimichonga. I've forgotten the word. Oh my god, it's molting! Guys! It was just, it just turned over onto its side like after I left and I turned around and came back and I scared the crap out of it. It's going away now, very sidewaysly. It's okay buddy. Oh that's disgusting. So the name of this creature, which I'm going to put on the screen for you so I do not get it wrong because I'm 100% sure it's not Chimichonga. This guy. We found a molting. Smash her. Oh, so I feel like the only reasonable thing to do is get the molt out of the water and show you the size of this thing. Oh my god. It's so fresh. Oh, okay, so to grow, arthropods have to shed their exoskeletons, molt them off. So what we've got here is the very outer layer. These claws are quite tough, but the rest is really soft and translucent. And honestly, a bit gooey. There's like, <laughs> there's goo in here. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, look at the size of this thing. Turn it over. I mean, these, these claws are incredibly long. They do grow quite large. And now this one's gonna be even bigger, I suppose. Um. Although it was quite floppy as it made its way away, I felt really bad. I think it's still nearby, but if I shine the light on it, it's going to freak out again, so... Sorry, buddy. I thought it was a bit weird that we caught it just sitting there. I was like, wow, this is really lucky. It's not bothered. We're going to get a beautiful photo of this. But it was not to be. For in the moment that I turned around to get my camera, it had almost entirely escaped its molt, which was so fast. Amazing. I found this orange and ape snake crossing the road into the campsite. They're beautiful little snakes that eat reptiles and since I don't look like a lizard, it wasn't that keen on me. They're venomous but not considered dangerous so I dragged my snake bite kit around all night for nothing.
so I don't know if you can see this yet. I will bring you in closer so you can. Um, there's been several praying mantis species that I have found around here, and this is one of them that I'm particularly excited about. This one here is Archimantis monstrosa, which is incredibly camouflaged down here around my ankles. I'm not even sure how I spotted this one. They clearly really rely on this camouflage to help them catch their prey and avoid the birds that are hanging around here all day and the lizards. Get you back on here, we'll bring the camera over. Praying mantises are predators that normally feed on live invertebrates, catching them with their sharp spines on their front legs and eating them alive. This one might be called the monster mantis, but you're all little monsters to me. This is how we do it. I can see eye shine on that bush up there. We've stopped here, I don't know what it is yet, so it's probably going to be a huntsman. It could be... Um, there's some water spiders around here that are also on trees, so I'm not real sure, but I'll have to find out. Oh, yeah. This is the thing. Here we are here. Just there. And we can see that from quite a distance away using eye shine, which is crazy because it's actually quite, quite a small spider. Starting to see double guys. It's only 12:30. I'm weak. This is like the third night in a row, so like that could have something to do with it. Well, I was following this path and I was gonna head on through here, but I think I will not now. <laughs> you shall not pass. I have to find a way under. Now we have to watch these support lines. So we've got structural support. Then we've got empty space. Now we want to go for empty space. Now this structural support. Oh, that's actually handy. I think we've got clear space in the middle here to go through. Yes, it's indeedy. Oops, sorry, madam. So this is something that I really do want to show you guys. This here is the nest or colony of this social foliage webbing spider, which is quite an interesting spider, although it's so common that I tend to just walk past it, which is terrible of me, because what's going on in there is so fascinating. So most spiders will live a completely solitary life after they're born and they spread or disperse away from all those siblings and their mother they're going to be living pretty much on their own up until the point where they need to find a mate um, and then, you know, maybe eat them, maybe not, whatever. So they're not friends, <laughs> but some spiders do break that rule. And in the case of these foliage webbing spiders, that's what we've got going on here. So I actually don't know how many we've got per colony, but there's quite an, a large number of small spiders all living in there together. Um, if you do see these, webs at night you can have a close look and see that there's actually spiders coming out to collect food that's become trapped on the outside of it and not just one spider they hunt in packs they'll all rush out together Another interesting thing I've noticed about these particular nests in this place is that they usually come with a badge huntsman. So often these nests appear to have a badge huntsman living 
I don't know, on it, in it, in close association with it. I haven't worked this out yet, but it's bonkers. Um, this badge huntsman would usually be sitting sort of like on the edge here, hanging off, and I don't know where it's hiding during the day. Is it bedding in there with those guys, or very opportunistic, who knows? Um, I'll have a closer look at that, I guess. Cool. This is the area for her that guards the entrance to my house. Then go along the path. Good night. That scared the living daylights out of me. Shut